life-saving civilian section. Uganda has nearly 400 surgeons. A section of them gathering at Kololo grounds today kicked off activities to commemorate their second annual surgeons conference. The discussions here included their demand to work better and efficient, including poor pay, inadequate staffing, and retention of the experts in the health system. Increased funding and investment in technologies for diagnostics, intervention, and critical care. We need surgeons up to district level. And uh, if need be, this surgeon can make rounds in the health center for. Maybe every three months, the surgeon on the district hospital can go to the health center for, and then moving upwards, the regional referrals, and so on and so forth. There must be deliberate effort and I know it's uh, going to take place. Increased funding of the national health budget from the current 8.9% to at least 12%. Another sticky issue was the absence of an organ transplant council needed to legalize organ donation and transplant surgery in the country, yet capacity is being developed. The council is a priority. And we hope in the next financial budget we see us operationalize the council and we prioritize the resources for that council. The Minister for Health, Dr. Jane Ruther Cheng, says they have no money to implement many of the desired plans. We cannot keep on talking about free health services. Somebody must pay for it. And in this case, the reason why we cannot do so many is because we don't have the money. But please don't ask us another question on national health insurance. We finished our job. We want this national health insurance as yesterday. On the sidelines, they held a medical exhibition, which included private providers. They want government to continuously improve the working conditions as they support the system. Uh, somebody could be ready to invest in transplant surgery, but then the government does not have the policy on... Uh, <clears throat> you know, liver transplant in the country. It doesn't have a policy on donor management in the country. And therefore, somehow you're constrained, you don't know what to do, and yet you're ready to invest um, heavily in, in this kind of intervention. So somehow you slowed down. Technology is being adopted. It's uh, improving in Uganda, and it is improving our surgical care to patients. Uganda still has a substantial shortage of surgeons with 8 for every 10 patients in need of surgery unable to access the service. Walter Mwesi NTV.